from a swollen leg. All right, I have a razor brain. Uh, I have a, re a real laser blade. Please be careful. Don't touch here. Please could you cut the paper out with this? It's a sharp, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I swallow no, the no, laser blade. No, don't do that. No, don't. No. Mm. Oh, my God. Ah. Yummy! All right! I have more of a laser blade. No! Mm. Mm. Uh, would you like some? No, okay. Please don't copy me! Mm. I will eat all of them. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Wow. Ah, last one is strings. <sighs> Keep eating things. He'll never eat his dinner after this.
I need you right now, don't say it, but think of a unique word to describe you. Face me, put your two hands up like this. I need you to bring them a little bit closer. Close your eyes, don't move a muscle. Everyone else, shh, shh, shh. don't move. <laughs> Mel, you can open up your eyes, you can put your hands back down. This... Did you just lick my hand? You did. This did wipe you? is for you, but I'd be right in saying, just from the taste alone, recently, have you been eating eggs and the, the potato chips as well? Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Howie, put your no. hand. No, I'm no, no. no. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Don't touch Howie's hip. Howie, this is my iPhone. You are going to have to deduce the six digits that unlock it here. So press right now any six digits on there and tell us yes or no. Did it open? Did it open? No. no. Of course not. Okay, now, judges, I would love you three right now to think of any number between one and ten. Simon, what do you think the first digit is? One. One. Press one. Perfect. Second digit. Heidi, what do you think the second digit is? Nine. Nine. Press it. One. One. Press one. The last three you're going to get on your own. Right now, let me get into the mindset of Harry. Okay. <laughs> The last three digits, look at me, are going to pop into your head. Okay. Not yet, but okay. when they do, this is one in a million. So if he unlocks this, he's done it. Press the last three digits that you think unlock my code. Mm. Press them in. Whatever feels right, press. Yes! No! You got it! Oh, wow. Uh... Let's hear it for the world's newest mind reader, Harry Mandel! Oh, Harry, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Right there. But with you, you were thinking a secret. I don't think you would want everyone else to know it. I'm going to whisper it to you, but Pinky promise this secret will never go any further, OK? The thing you're thinking is... Mel, is that true? Yes! Oh. Yeah? And I didn't just whisper, act surprise, play along. That's, that's genuine, yes? Oh, my God. And there's no way I could have found there's that on Twitter, no social way. media, anywhere. Good. There's no way. We'll keep that between us. We'll leave them wondering. Oh. But look right at me, Mel. Look at me. You thought of a word. Before you came out here, I gave out some letters to people in the audience. I don't want you to see them, so keep looking at me. Can I ask the guys over here who have the cards, stand up right now before Mel says her word, so that everyone knows this can't be changed. Would you all turn around your letters so that everyone else, no one say it, but I think this sums you up perfectly. Now, this is a free choice. You could have thought of tens of thousands of words. So tell us, what word are you thinking of to describe yourself right now? Well, for a start, I think every woman is this, but I think of myself as a goddess. Have a look. Shut up! No! How do you do that? Oh, my God! Thank you so much, Mel. Oh, Thank you. You're <laughs> weird. You're weird. Mel! Today I'm going to show you something of my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite author is Colin Davis, Math and Magical. Amanda, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? Yes, darling. My second favourite author is Zena Blight and the Magical Faraway Tree. Alicia, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? Okay. My third favourite author is David Williams, The Midnight Gang. <laughs> <laughs> David, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? It would be a pleasure. <laughs> yes. While still doing that, Simon, could you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? Where? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Very bossy. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. I can't lift it. <laughs> David, do you want to go and help I it? literally can't lift it. <laughs> Together. Go on. To me, to you. To me, to you. <laughs> it won't lift. Oh, wait one minute. Could you sit back down for me, please? All right, go sit down. Go sit down. No, you as well. <laughs> Do as you tell me. Yeah. Right, I'm back. <laughs> what happened? 
Simon, I want to show you a car trick, but it's a car trick Hang on. right now. I'm still a bit scared after that. <laughs> Give me five seconds. Okay. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yeah, I can. I'm going to turn them face down and I want you to touch the back of any card. Alright. That one. Thank you. I want you to look at your card for remembering don't let anyone else see. I won't. Okay. Now Simon, you're the boss. I want you to pick any book, either Amanda, Alicia or David's. Alicia's, please. <laughs> Alicia's book has about 600 pages. Could you name a number between 1 and 600? It's 77. Alicia, could you turn your book to page 77 yes. for me, please? And check if all the words are different. Yes, all the words are different. Now, could you pick any word and tell us what it is? Kettle. Kettle. Remember, Sam, you could have picked any book. And Alicia, you could have chosen any word, but you chose kettle. Yes. See this blackboard? Before the show tonight, I wrote a word on the board. Watch. No way. What was your card? It's the Four of Diamonds. Oh, now, I love messing around with my cards in school and showing my friends magic tricks during class, so I found some ways to hide my cards in school so my teachers don't get angry at me. So the first way I hide my cards is smuggling them into school inside my lunch bag along with a snack for later. And that way I can now show some tricks to my friends. So Heidi, will you be my friend? Yes, I'd love to. Do me to. a favor and take any card you like. Go ahead and sign it. Perfect. I'll take that. Uh, so Seal, do me a favor, man. Hold out one of your hands. I'll give you the deck and you put your other hand on top. So that way there's no way I can manipulate the cards. Yeah, right on top. Now, would it be impressive, Mel, if I could pull Heidi's card from the deck with just one hand? Would that be impressive? Yeah. All right, here we go. You're right. That would have been really impressive. Oh. That would have been, been really, really good. Uh, but sadly, no, I got the king of diamonds not even close. Tell you what, I'll make it up to you. I'll show you my second way I hide cards in school. It's making every single card inside of your hands turn completely invisible. Check it out. That's oh every single card in the entire what? deck completely what? clear. And my teachers don't notice a thing. Wow. But as cool that as is that is, crazy. I never found your card. Instead, I thought it was the king of diamonds. But you look a little closer. Printed onto the card, the king seems to be holding on to the snack I brought here earlier today. No. Howie, I won't touch it. You pick up that snack. No. Make sure there's no cuts, slits, or tears anywhere on that, yeah? No, it's, it's, it's a sealed... Inside. Tear okay. that thing open. Okay. Break that in half. No. Oh my gosh, there's a card. Folded in half is one card. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Heidi's signed card. Oh my god! Amazing. Thank you.